Hi, Jenna. Great to see you. Yeah, we last spoke, uh, well, during COVID at some point for Lorelei, so I'm always happy to talk to you. Um, how are things going? You look absolutely adorable. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's very business professional. I'm ready. I'm like, you know, full-time mom, drop my kid off, put my suit on, get to work, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I, I hear you, my friend. I hear you. Um, you know, it's so funny because I, I, when I got this, I started watching it and I go, I remember reading about this in the news about this woman who went out and decided that she wanted to get herself adopted and she was a full grown woman. Were you aware of this story before this was presented to you? No, I wasn't even aware of the phenomenon. Honestly, I didn't even do that much research about it because I felt like Audrey's discovery of it and sort of how she finds it is such a modern kind of conundrum way, which is in that right. sort of very associative um, digital content uh, zoning out state. Yeah. You know, yeah. They just kind of come to you and you say yes to them. Um, but, and even since we made it in 2019, there's been even a deeper exploration of like, you know, there was that docu-series called like a, 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 a adopting adults or something yeah yeah and yeah it's a whole thing but what I love is that it's not really about that you know right. the, the legal aspect doesn't really come in right we're not really talking about you know money and trusts and you know going to the hospital with them it, it's it's much more of like the human conversation of that it's like right. we're given an opportunity to have a conversation with our parents deeply in the society from zero to 18. And then everything else after that is sort of like brushed under the rug and sort of dismissed. And what's interesting for me in my own experience is I have a deeper and better relationships with my parents than I, you know, than I did when I was younger. I mean, I right. love my adult relationship with my parents. I lean on them. I really, they support me in ways. I love coming home and they darn my socks and <laughs> I get to collapse on the floor and they're like doing my laundry. I mean, maybe more so now that I'm a parent. Right, right. You know, yeah, I you appreciate that more. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, oh, this is so nice. So I think that it's a really vulnerable, courageous thing for a human to be like, I want to further having that type of parental relationship in as an adult. And if it's broken, try something different. Right. If it's not, if you're not getting that from your own parents, maybe find some other um, allies in adulthood that can be your support system. You know, I yeah. think that's really endearing. It's really sweet. Uh, absolutely. I mean, who doesn't want to have be comforted or comforted or feel loved or wanted and, yeah, or like and, and not take anything yeah, like it. whatever it is, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And what I loved about your portrayal of Audrey is um, she was very likable the whole way through, you know, I didn't have any kind of like, how dare she? Like she even has her parents there and she's looking for new ones. Like it didn't bother me at all for the fact because she was, you made her so likable. Was that was that you or was that in the script? <laughs> I mean, I def I don't know. I think it's yeah. probably each individual will have their own experience, but okay. um, she's a character that we haven't seen before. Yeah. So in that way, the odds can go either way. We can either love something we've never seen or really not understand it and hate it, you know? Um, but it, it was a deep choice of mine. I didn't see her as jaded, you know, I didn't no. see her as, you know, rough around certain edges, but, you know, I feel like traditionally in, in film, if I, if I encounter Audrey, this type of character before, it would be a man and it would be this sort of listless roamer, can do anything, comes into town, causes a scene with the women and leaves, right. you know, I had never seen the feminine expression of that journey. Um, besides some really beautiful films, you know, like No Man Land, um, you know, explored that. And, uh, it's Wendy a little different. Yeah, and, for sure. You know, there's, sure. there's films out there. Yeah. Um, so I, yeah, it was important to me that there was an optimism and not even a likability because I didn't mind if people didn't like her. I knew that they would eventually get there because there is yeah. some goodness. Um, right, right. No, just, I think she had a good heart. I mean, she was just down on her luck. Like she had all these jobs and she was losing them and, and, and she just couldn't get it together and so when you find this family that you're you know you want to again what I liked about it was that um she kind of bonds with the father figure that you know and he's got his issues there's no question about that hey why do you think 
they connected so well. And B, I am so glad that it was just a friendship. Like there was no romance. There was no sexuality involved. Yeah. It was just, they were both looking for somebody to connect with on a friend, yeah. you know? And I, I love that. Well, thank God. I mean, that was all Mike. I mean, he, you know, he wrote a script that not only was it exploring something we had never seen as a, a female character in film, but also that there was no romantic thing in it at all. You know, yeah. yeah, she has a little bit of a boyfriend maybe in the beginning, an acquaintance, but it's right. not about that. And it's not yeah. about her journey as a romantic being. You know, it's just her journey as a human. Yeah. And sometimes it's romantic and sometimes it's not. But the fact that that sort of auto Audrey relationship was deeply non-sexual and was only allowed to be met as just two humans like kind of curious about right curious about each other and life and the needs and it, it was so smart I, it just felt very refreshing I was like I was so ready for that story right and in turn they end up kind of helping and changing each other which is so yeah. lovely you know because he's a guy who's like real stuck in his ways you know where whereas a lot of older people are like I ain't budging, but he learns from her, you know? Yeah, and they learn from each other, you know? I yeah. mean, I think that they're definitely two very self-resilient -re islands, you know? They're islands to themselves. Yeah. And yeah. I think that they see a lot in each other, and that builds a bridge that normally is a, very hard to build, um, yeah. where they can kind of look to each other and learn a thing too I think it's yeah it's lovely like it's a lovely little film I really really enjoyed it and I uh, you know it, it, I look back at your career my god like what almost 30 years in the business I you know. don't look a day over like 20 my dear but anyway you know it's pretty <laughs> amazing and when you look back at it Jenna like you know when you started so young and now of course you are a mom yourself your son's pretty much at the age I think where you kind of started has he come no, to you and said, six. no I started when I was 10 okay but, okay you know, around there <laughs> He's getting there. He's getting there. And, you know, is it something that he's expressed that he wants to be in the biz or would you want him to be in the biz? Or, you know, is that something that you discussed or thought about? Um, he doesn't really know. He hasn't, he doesn't want to be an actor. I don't think, I mean, I don't know. He wants to do a thousand, you know, he wants to be like a dinosaur hunter. I mean, his path is far less uh, linear than, you know, when I was like that age, I was like, I want to be a writer, a teacher, a dancer, a singer, a, you know, sure. an actor. Like I had a whole list and was very like linear. Um, but no, I don't, there's no path that he wants to explore that I won't follow him into, you know? Yeah. Um, and luckily I know how to protect that journey and demonstrate it um, yeah. pretty well that I would feel comfortable allowing him to do anything, you know, yeah. in, in, in any aspect that he wants to do. And yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's it's wonderful. So what what jazzes you now when you get scripts? Are you a little pickier or what, you know, what is it that you look for? Um, I mean, I've always been picky. I guess yeah. that's just who I am. Um, <laughs> which is good. It's a good thing. It's a good yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah, you have to, you know, your your no is very important. Um I think for me what's changed the most is you know, just what's um important to me. So you know, my parent life is the most important. So yeah. I kind of now acting as sort of second to that. And I, you know, I don't take traveling jobs um, as much as I used to. Uh, I'm pretty much only, you know, looking to stay in LA yeah. and then I allow summers to be a space where we can travel. And so nice. I'm definitely closing the door in a lot of aspects of how I let things in. Cause some things are like, you know, eight months in Atlanta. And I'm like, absolutely not. I just right. I can't do it. Yeah. Um, so it's interesting. I'm, I'm making decisions in acting that are more about timing and location <laughs> than I ever have, which is fine. It's cool. Yeah. I mean, I'm still looking for the same types of things, which is just great directors, you know, great scripts, things that I can learn, things that are terrifying me, things that I've never done before. Um, right people you admire I mean that stuff never changes you know but I'm, speaking I'm of directing I could so see you behind the camera is that something that you've ever thought of you're such a smart young lady you make great choices you've learned from so many directors over the years I'm sure have you ever thought about that um of course I have yeah I I know that it's something I've always wanted to explore I have explored I've done a few tiny little sh shorts and music video stuff yeah. um i I felt in my journey, the most, the, the, the directors that I 
love working with the most are the writer directors. Mm -hmm. um, the ones that, you know, sort of utilize all aspects of creating a story, which is, you know, writing it, directing it, finishing it. Um, so becoming a writer has been more important to me first. So Good I, stuff. Yeah, I'm writing and I'm allowing that space to also I have more time for writing because now it aligns with my parent activities and absolutely yeah um but directing is something that I look forward to stepping into when I have time and place and when it can be it could have the importance that it deserves you know I yeah. just don't have that kind of um time right now you know that's okay you got lots of years ahead of you I, I look know forward yeah to, I look forward to what you bring us well listen thank you so much for your time it's always a huge pleasure talking to you and you did such a great job in this in adopting Audrey I really really thank enjoyed you. it and I love the blonde and I love that short pixie cut on you oh thanks yeah just you know keep cutting it keep changing <laughs> girlfriend you're doing a great job always great to talk to you thank you so much for your thank time I really appreciate it thanks Bonnie Bye. Okay, take care. Bye.